Hi, this is Kyle from APS, and I'm going to show you how to properly install and remove halyards uh, that are run internally on the mast on a keelboat. Okay, um, when you're getting ready to either install or um, to remove a halyard, first thing we have to do is know what kind of end we're working with. Um, so in this case, it's just cut and whipped, and in this case, uh, they've had a reeving or a Flemish eye installed uh, with a whip. Uh, I'm going to start with this guy. Um, these make it really easy. If you're ordering new rigging, uh, I'd recommend just uh, have a reeving eye installed on the uh, on the bitter end there. I'm going to start with two millimeter halyard leader. Um, this is specific to this task. Um, I would really highly recommend that you buy specifically halyard leader when doing these jobs, especially if you're taking halyards out for the winter and this is going to stay in the boat. Um, all winter, you want something that is, um, this is a very tight cover, it's very abrasion resistant, it's low stretch, and for its size, it's uh, quite strong. So with this reeving eye, all I need to do for installation or removal is simply tie a bowline on it, take a piece of tape, tape that down so it can't come undone, and I'm ready for installation or removal. Okay, now if I'm dealing with the other type, without a reeving eye, and I'm going to be using halyard leader for either installing or removing. Again, I'm uh, going to put a bowline in this. I'm going to tape my bowline so it can't come undone. And now I'm going to get my palm, a sailmaker's lead, uh, needle, and I've got number four whipping twine here that's waxed, and I'm going to put a big quadruple eight knot in the end. And this is going to be a temporary attachment. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to be sewing loops from this to here. If the line is not whipped, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and put a whip in because that is the anchor point for this attachment. And it's going to keep this from pulling the uh, weave out and the whole thing just kind of shredding and coming decoupling, if you will. Okay, so I just pull that through, I go through my eye, and I'm just going to do this, uh, you would think you could do it maybe just two or three times. I'm going to do this more like four to six times, and the reason I do that is to build a lot of strength into this, because if the halyard got hung up for some odd reason in the mast on a piece of hardware, you really want to be able to tug on this. Um, and uh, not have this break while you're trying to get the thing pulled through. So just a little insurance. That's probably good. I'm just going to keep going. Just keep rolling. Ouch! Okay. So I've gone around, uh, I think, six times now, and I'm just going to simply finish this off with a couple of wraps, and I'm just simply going to cut it, and I'm in a lot of wind here, so I'm going to have to go down here, and I'm going to melt the ends of that. And I'm just going to nail head it. Okay, so I've got a really good connection here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is while this is being pulled through, you don't want this getting caught on anything. So I'm going to have to tape this entire assembly um, so that it's nice and smooth. So I'm using a rigging tape that's very thin. So I'm not adding any diameter, any bulk here. That's why I love this uh, tape. This would have already been taped down, but I'll just keep going. Okay. So that helps the knot go through. And then I'm going to go back over it again. Because believe me, if this gets caught halfway through installing or uninstalling, um, you don't want anything coming undone or getting further caught.
Okay. Yeah, just cut that. And that's what I'm left with. Pretty nice transition. Really strong. And I'm ready to either install or take it out. Okay, now we're going to be dealing with um, installing a halyard while we take the old one out. And in this case, I want to make sure that both ends are whipped. And I'm going to basically sew these together. I'm going to sew this direction, then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and sew in that direction. I've already put a big figure eight uh, stopper knot in this, and I'm just going to start sewing these together. First, in this orientation. And I'll run that through. And I'm going to pull this evenly until they are right up against one another. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my orientation about 90 degrees. And I'll go through this direction. Pull that. Do the same thing over here. I'm going to change my orientation 90 degrees. Pull that tight and go through here again. And I'm just going to continue this going back and forth. Okay, so you can see here, it's not pretty, but I've sewn in a complete loop this way a couple of times, turned it 90 degrees, and loops in that way. Uh, I snipped the end of the line, or excuse me, I did a couple of wraps here. I snipped this, lit the end, and hit it with a lighter to put a nail's head on it so that it can't unravel. And now the next thing I need to do, again, using this really thin rigging tape, love the stuff. You can just use uh, PVC rigging tape if you want. So this is going to keep everything in alignment. Just tuck that back in there. And I'm just going to run all the way down and back over it and make everything nice and tight. Okay, I finished the taping job. And what the tape is here to do, again, is to make sure that this is a smooth up uh, transition as possible. If, if it's not, get some more tape, get lots of tension on it, make sure that there's no edge for this to get caught on as you're feeding it through the mast. So I've got the, a replacement halyard ready to go in, and in this case I have an old halyard that is ready to come out. Say I'm putting the boat away for the winter and I'm going to leave this in place um, over, the, uh, over the winter season. Okay, um, we're really getting to the end here. Um, this is all about good preparation. I've got my taped up abutment here. I've taken the time to work out any twists in this line and done a good coil, a figure eight coil, uh, so that I'm not gonna get any kinks or stoppages while I'm doing this, because I'm doing it myself. So I'm just gonna throw this down. And I've got the halyard pulled. Uh, let's see, this one, this is a Genoa halyard that I brought back. And you'll notice that I'm pulling it through the clutches. I didn't pull this out first. Uh, it's a pain to put lines through clutches sometimes. So this will be my, and I just keep working it forward. I've got my hands on the old halyard and if it hits a little snag, I can just pull it back a little bit and right into the mast until it's out the other side. Very easy. Okay, so here's the situation where I'm ready to uh, remove this halyard. I've got this tied on to the reeving eye. It's taped. Again, I'm doing it before the clutch. And I've got it all the way open. Here's the other end of the halyard. And it's really as simple as just pulling this through. I will remind you with the halyard leader, make sure that you've got it prepped ahead of time. And in we go. I'm keeping constant tension on this because uh, it's so thin, when it gets up to the sheave at the masthead at the exit box, I, I don't want it jumping the sheave and getting between the sheave housing and the sheave. It, uh, you'd almost have to go up there on a bosun's chair to uh, fix that. So uh, one, one thing to remember when you're working with how you leader. Okay, I've shown you how to attach how you leader to a how you that has a Flemish eye or a reeving eye. Also how to use whipping twine when they don't and seize it on. So this is going to be used anytime you're installing a new halyard with hardware. So I can take the old halyard out. 
I've installed the whipping or the um, halyard leader, and now I can attach it to my new halyard, whether it has a snap shackle or a main halyard shackle on it, and pull the, the end of that back on through and full installation. If you're dealing with a uh, halyard that is a tied on, we've also showed you the abutment um, process here. And basically this is just a one-step installation. Abut the lines, pull them all through, tie your uh, halyard onto your sail, and you're done. Well, for more information on line, rigging, and splicing, visit us at APSLTD.com.